uh, in any case, we're back to the miscellaneous subjects that we love to discuss. Um, it's essentially subjects that are more or less swept under the rug when it comes to the main Islamic dialogues and discussions um, in the community. Um, to, and we're this time joined by Sayyid Mohsin Shah. Assalamu alaikum, Sayyid. Alaykum, salam wa rahmatullah. How are you doing? You okay? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Welcome. Inshallah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, and today's discussion um, is interesting because in the UK, this is quite a, a predominant issue within politics um, as well as mm. the British society life as well. It's, 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 it's more or less about hunting or mm -hmm. specifically fishing, for example. Yes. Um, and a lot of people take it for granted as, as fishing as being just a recreational thing that they'll do. Yeah. But actually, is there an Islamic um, perspective on, on fishing and then to a wider extent hunting? Um, I'm not sure of any Muslims in the community that actually go hunting, but but perhaps it could be. Uh, actually, it definitely fishing. I know it definitely is an issue. Um, but yeah, fishing. And what do you think, Zara? Yeah, no, and actually the um, the aspect of UK law, for instance, mm -hmm. how does that impact fishing? Cause you can't just go and pick any fish and think. Oh, I think trout has a has some sort of limitation. Are they preserved? I think so. I'm mm. not. I can't say for sure. But I, I know there was a fish I was hoping to get. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, <laughs> it was not tell us. something you could actually go and get. Yeah, so um, fishing and hunting, um, essentially for sport. Yes. Is it allowed or not? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. According to the laws of Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi, Hafadullah, our grand marja, um, hunting for other than food is not allowed. Um, especially if it's bringing harm to an animal. So in this country, there's always been an issue with fox hunting. Exactly. Um, I myself am not a supporter and mm -hmm. I think it's, it's actually really, really inhumane. Um, so for, for something like that, it's not allowed in Islam. So what about fishing? Because fishing is also a sport. We know a lot of people that go fishing, um, they'll catch the fish and they'll throw it back into the water. Yeah. Mm. Um, this is not allowed simply because this is number one, play. And also that this is your, you're causing harm for no reason whatsoever. There's no real purpose for you for actually trying to catch that fish. It's animal cruelty really, isn't yeah. it? Indeed it well, is. Unless, you're eating unless, it. unless it's for eating, you're not allowed to do that yeah. whatsoever. Um, when actually catching the fish, now, you know, what, what fish is halal and which is haram, you know, um, we don't actually slaughter fish. Mm. So how does it actually work? The fish you're allowed to eat is the fish that was alive in the water and when you take it out, it dies. Okay. That fish is halal. If it's even if it's if it's damaged a little bit, but it was alive when you took it out of the water, it's halal. It's allowed. Right. If the fish was dead mm. in the water, so a lot of people want to throw in dynamite, as we see sometimes people okay. cheat that, and it kills the fish yeah. and it rises to the haram. You can't eat that fish. Really. So the fish that die in the water, haram. You're not allowed to eat mm. that. They have to be alive when you extract it from the water, um, and that fish is mm. deemed. Hello. What if certain fish was contaminated? Not that, obviously, if you eat that fish, something's going to ha bad happen to you. But what if the, the, the fish that was brought out is alive, but it's contaminated with some sort of substance? You can clean it off or not clean it off or maybe just risk it, not risk it. What happens then? That's would, fine. I mean, would that's, you risk it? I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't. But like, if a bit of dirt, for example, I don't know, something... I mean, you know, you, we hope we hope that it, no. there's nothing inside of the fish. Yeah, you I don't mean, know. If you, sure. yeah, I mean, exactly. you don't know. I mean, when, when, when you cook the fish and you, you open it and you get to, you can see the meat. Mm. Now, if that meat is contaminated or it's gone off or this fish, unfortunately, has been poisoned or something, mm. then obviously uh, you don't really Please don't eat it. I, I, yeah. I, know. I, will. I, will. I, I think the Japanese are quite famous for having mm. certain delicacies where the yeah. fish is very, very poisonous. And, yeah. and you have to cook it in a certain way yeah. to cut was, it in a certain yeah. way. I was going to say actually sushi things, you know, you get mm. the sushi plates, but you don't actually know the origin of that fish, do you? So yeah. what would you say about eating things like that? that well, would that, wouldn't they tell you if it's, for example, salmon or shrimp or Yeah, or I would something? assume. I, I actually assume. never look, I just look at the sushi Cod and think. or trout yeah. or something <laughs> like that, right? Going towards that, okay, so one issue is with sushi is the meat cooked or not cooked. I mm. mean, there's no really Islamic law to tell you to you know, uh, cook fish or not cook fish. Mm. You know, if it's edible uh, and it's not going to cause you any harm, then you're allowed to eat so it. be it, of course. Okay. You're allowed to eat it. Mm. Um, with sushi, uh, there are certain fish which majority of the maraja have this ruling that you only eat fish with scales. Okay, mm. so you know, your, your cod, your haddock, trout, um, trout um, salmon. salmon. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a big, big fish eater, yeah. <laughs> 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 
I like my fish. Yeah, I like my mm. tilapia fan myself. Tilapia. So, um, yeah, these fishes are, are, are allowed to be eaten. Okay, so let's just go back a bit. Okay, uh, fish without scales that are actually halal. So, for example, things like shrimp. So, um, people would assume that, well, not people don't assume, people do categorize um, shrimp and, and prawns as shellfish. And they put them in the same category as crab and lobster. Mm. Um, in further investigation, we see that this prawns and shrimp, they don't actually have a shell. It's actually scales that they have. Oh. Yeah, so what we assume to be a shell and what we say and identify that this is the shell of this shrimp is not actually a shell, like a hard shell that we have on crab and lobsters. It's actually thin like a scale. So the Miraja have deemed this to be scales. And that's why you are allowed to consume shrimp and, and prawns, which are quite tasty, actually. Yeah, of course. I do say mm. so myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what if the, we were saying that in terms of losing its scales, because some, obviously sometimes some fish will lose their scales, and they might give birth to fish without any scales. How, Indeed. How? Um, according to Sayyid Sadiq, Hafizullah, he says that if the fish had a scale, and his species of fish has scales mm. originally, mm. Uh, and then lost the scales, that fish is still deemed it is still uh, allowed to be consumed and if with this condition it has offspring that also don't have scales because uh, maybe so genetically in, in you know, hereditary um, uh, what you call it passed on mm. disease um, you can eat that as well that would, that, that's not, not an issue so mm. if it had scales and it was removed or they've lost the scales that's fine you can still eat the fish and if that fish has offspring with the same condition um, you are allowed to eat that fish as well, it's not a problem. Oh. Yeah, that's that's um, really interesting actually. I think, um, I don't know how many people actually, because it's a very good source of protein and health yeah. benefits, aren't they? And is that why you have it or is it something you just prefer to eat a lot of um, fish? Good question. Um, cause, because I'm, uh, it's, it's funny because I have this conversation with colleagues at work um, and my diet is very limited mm. to either vegetables, cheese or fish wow. so when I go to a local Tesco mm. or I go to a local r retailer um, there's not much I can get and because fish is halal and it's a bit of a, a yeah. meat, meat alternative um, I'd often use use that but I think within culture um, it plays a massive role I think there must be some mm. hadith here and there that mentions fish to be something that's recommended to eat um, I know within the Iraqi culture on, on, yeah, Wednesday, on Wednesday, yeah, so uh, Wednesday is, is for me fish day, fish day so yeah, I know yeah. that on Wednesday I'm going to have fish I think here in, in um, England as well Friday is fish and chips so is it really? yeah no, there you every go. Friday you'll see yeah. canteens give fish and chips um, but um, in terms of hadith I mean we have loads of hadith that you know um, uh, encourage healthy diet and fish being one of those is it? It's very, do very they actually name fish but it's, it's fish by name right? pardon? Semek, yeah. they'll, they'll actually say fish by name I don't know, I haven't read it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't yeah, 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 no, as, in, as in, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is. Um, Possibly, I, I, I haven't yeah. come across mm. the hadith like that. Yes. I, mean, I, say, I have to say, the Iraq fish is just one of the best. Yeah, let's go. Mm. I, don't I, think, I think masala fish has a very, very. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like I don't know. Competing stance. <laughs> no, because I, get, I keep getting told well, if you go to Baghdad, there's a certain place and they they pull it out, you choose it, and yeah, they, yeah. they'll yeah, barbecue yeah, it. it. And the process is really, really cool because wow. yeah. as, as, as I was saying, you get to actually choose the fish that you want to eat. So when they do it, they. But that's when it gets a bit barbaric because I've actually seen them like smash their heads oh. in. Um, what, yeah. So they don't take it out, let it die? No, they take it out, they, they, they let it kind of just wiggle around for a bit mm. and they'll just... So even when I go to the fishmonger here, I, I, have, I have to say to them, remove the head and tail because I don't want to be cooking eyes in the oven. I just can't do it. Really? Yeah, I can't That's do it. That's one of the delicacies. No, the I'll pass them on to no, you. No, not eye, as in, for example, the head of yeah, the fish. Yeah, the head, no. But oh. there's a lot of benefits to, to brain, fish brain. Oh, well, like, no, yeah. I can't. That's just like I'd rather just think it's a bit of protein, and if you think it actually oh, visualizes, that's boring. the tail is amazing. <laughs> no way. The tail, the head, the head. If you just the thing is, what I like about fish, especially if it's like grilled and there's yeah. loads of oil. That's what I was saying. <laughs> um, uh, the, the, it's it's great um, because there's certain parts of the head. If you get it right and the, and you like extract it properly, then it's it's really really nice. It's unbelievable. I think it's a man thing, I don't know. Um, yeah. But that's really <laughs> interesting, actually, that, um, you know, because I think a lot of people, you know, we know about the scales, but I actually didn't personally know that if they sort of genetically change, modify, then they lose their scales. So I don't think that species, you know, 
um, but that's actually mm -hmm. permissible. So it's, um, it's an interesting conversation to have to know that this is what, um, what the law says. Yeah, definitely. Look, I mean, that's a great point you make. And actually, there's a question from Jalal in Manchester who was saying, I'm a keen fisherman. Um, because I think Manchester is quite close to a place called Lake District, yes. which is, has a lot of fishing outlets there. Uh, I'm a keen fisherman and go once a month to fish in local rivers and lakes. Uh, but I'm not sure about the rules of fishing, what sort of fish I'm allowed to eat. Can you give me a simple format to follow? I think you did, you did kind of touch upon the fact that you can't fish for sports because you're causing harm to the fish, but you can fish to eat. Um, can you delve into, into that a bit more? Because a lot of people, as in, it's, it's a recreation for them. Mm. But they're, not, they're not really seeing it as harming them because they're just taking it out and then they're not dead and then just putting it back in. The other in, thing so is, there's, I mean, I understand that. Um, the other thing is that this is considered play and there's no real benefit to what you're doing. Mm. Um, you know, unless you're technically practicing for hunting. Um, and then you know Sorry, you keep the kill that you've actually hunted. Mm. But what about the people that do fishing for um, tranquility, peace? You know that's a kind of a, a place where people can actually go and switch off. It's as quite in, mindless, as form, isn't it? As a form of meditation, yeah. you mean? Like Not relaxing. necessary meditation, but just to find some peace. But yeah, exactly. People yeah. kind yeah. of quiet. Yeah. Yeah. The still, lake is nice, to be honest. Yeah, yeah it is, but you're still causing harm to the fish. Mm. You know, you're, you're, you're taking. To an end, it's, 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 yeah, you're technically playing with their life. You take them out. Of, how would you feel? How would you like it if you, someone strangled you and you couldn't breathe, and then they let you go and you can breathe again, and then strangled you, and it was, I find peace and tranquility in this. Yeah, you know, it doesn't. Yeah, we've got to think about it as well. That you is find quite an yeah, yeah, example. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. No, no, it's it's true. If someone lured you with a bit a bit of meat, and then you're like, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Yeah, but our purpose the isn't created to be fed. To be fed, they're, they're animals that you're saying, obviously, if, unless it's to eat, we can't fish, but mm -hmm. that's their purpose in a way. Yeah, but they still have. It's not like us feelings. being strangled, are we? St they still have rights. Yeah. Yes, of course. They I'm not saying rights. they don't, but. I mean, we shouldn't be playing with life like this. No, but uh, uh, what you're saying in terms of finding peace and tranquility, you can find peace and tranquility. You can sit on the boat and lake. Or exactly. you can sit, on, sit on the lake, it's fine. You don't actually have to physically bring mm. a fish out. Or you could just mimic, mimic the act. Like, you just Indeed. For, so you for have your son sat there, say, sorry, you can't pick the fish. <laughs> for for Jalal, gonna... I'll say, Jalal, um, just keep all the fish that you catch. And, uh, sell them. Sell them or eat them. Yeah. You know? Keep mm. them in the freezer. Yeah. yeah. But then he would say, which type of fish can I? Well, then like we, we said, yeah. depending scales. on the margin you follow, majority of them are saying fish with scales. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Pick your fish. Mr. Father here has a whole list yeah. that he can, he can tell us, um, you know, about the fish. But yeah, salmon is very healthy, apparently. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's unbelievable. A fish that swims upstream. Now is a good time as well for salmon. Yeah? Yeah. Have nice. you been fishing? You're not I going haven't. now. No, no, no. <laughs> <I'm not going laughs> now. <Yeah. laughs> so it's all gone. Um, so it's actually haram then? Yeah. Wow. Because yeah. uh, someone asked me to go fishing one time. I wanted to, but then I thought mm. I didn't get the time. But actually thinking about it, maybe it's... That's unless unless it's for, for eating, not allowed. Yeah. Well, uh, wow, okay. I think that's... A, no fishing for you, Ali. Yeah, I think that's uh, a good place so to end. Um, no the, the conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, is that fishing for sport is halal. Um, all types of fish with scales is halal to eat, according to most maraja. And I'm not allowed to fish. No. That was the main conclusion there, is that I'm not allowed to fish. Oh, so and, and dead fish in the water do not touch. Dead fish in the water do not touch as well. So we'll leave on that note. Is there yeah. any last, uh, last no. words? No. Have a great day. Sayed, really appreciate your time Thank once again. Thank you very much. And Thank we'll you see you on the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, dear viewers of Imam Hussain TV and Morning Barakah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.